today we're filming a mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because first of all, I feel like you and I haven't like sat down and filmed something like just like this in a really long time. Are you guys still friends? Are you guys still friends is crazy. Like so that's a, that's crazy. a daily question I get, which is so funny, whether it's in my DMs, my YouTube comments, like if she's not in the first like minute of the vlog, like everyone's panicking. But we are in fact still, still friends. friends. <laughs> if Never I have not. one friend in Samari until I die. <laughs> it's exactly how it works. But okay, so we were gonna film we're still filming a get ready with me and we're gonna do like a little Q&A situation but I just don't really feel like that's appropriate you but honestly ask, your questions fucking sucked and I personally don't really like the idea of filming a Q&A as much as I thought because I feel like Q&A's are more so like for the, like the beauty gurus the Amazon favorites bitches I, like, I only do a Q&A when I like need to air someone out or like apologize like, like something like, specific like, 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 uh -huh. like there's a reason and I have no reason to really film a Q&A and you guys those questions weren't that good it's actually also really funny because we're filming a get ready with me and like it's really just her getting ready because I'm a boy I don't really have to do anything. We're getting ready for a wedding right now. All I have to do is like shave my face and put on a tux. So basically, Hunter's best friend, lifelong best friend, like Hunter's awesome uh -huh, is getting married to one of his best friends as well. He introduced them to each other 10 years ago. Send and now they're up. getting married. And they're my favorite people <clears throat> literally absolutely ever. And I'm really excited for them. We've right been now. on lots of trips with them and everything. Ari was originally supposed to come and then he fucking sucks. Yeah. Oh, and she is pissed. She's the bride pissed. Is pissed. The house down boots, Houston. I'm deceased. Temecula, I'm deceased. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ari was supposed to go, um, it's his birthday month, yeah. so he can't, but he's gotta have 38 excursions. He always has 30 celebrations, and first of all, I'm tapped out by two, but thank God this one's at the win, and I'm banned from the win, so it's like, he's fine. He's fine, he's entertained. He's literally so fucking fine. Josie will get him like a Birkin. Josie will get him like a Birkin, for sure. We're in Temecula, I've been excited for this wedding for almost a year now. I'm a fill-in. My nameplate says Ari. Ari bailed like last minute, so everything's printed to say Ari, and Amari's just gonna bring a pen and write I am uh -huh. in front of all the uh -huh. shit. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by none other than Timu. Now, if you don't know what Timu is, you probably are living under a rock or going broke because you are not getting the deals that you need to survive. In this economy, let's be real. Timu is a website where you can shop for just about literally anything. And when I say literally anything, I would not be surprised if you could find like toenail clippers for a hamster on there. I have never seen such a wide selection of products on a website in my entire life. Their products are good quality, their prices are affordable, and they have so, so, so many coupons for you guys to take advantage of. They're currently running a site-wide sale of up to 90% off. 90% off. Say it with me. 90% off. And they're offering free shipping and returns for up to 90 days after your purchase. I'm not kidding you guys. The deals on this website, I practically feel like I'm stealing. <laughs> Just so you guys get an idea of what you're working with, let me show you guys what I got for $250 on Timu. Two pairs of black jeans, three pairs of sunglasses. The other ones are upstairs because I had to bust them out because they are so cute and such good quality. Two neutral colored button downs, which are gonna be perfect for when I go to Turks and Caicos. They're flowy, they're soft, they're just the moment. These comfy straight leg sweatpants, I got them in cream. I also got them in black and gray, but they're in the wash right now because I had to bust them out because they are so comfortable. Four pairs of underwear for an exclusive platform. <laughs> Gotta stay monetized. Two pairs of earrings. These ones say yes and no, and I just love because those are my two favorite words. <laughs> These ones are just little hoops, and I just think they're amazing and cute. They've got little diamonds on them. A ring. And this is what I mean by you can get literally anything on this website because obviously that was a bunch of clothing and accessories. A wireless charger for your car. Hello. And it's like the MagSafe one. Hello. Hydrocolloid acne patches. You guys know how much I love these and talk about these all the time on my channel. I got a ton. 144. This is so as you guys know, I'm an air frying legend. I don't know how to cook. The air fryer is my best friend. These go in your air fryer and protect the like inside so it doesn't get dirty. And then these little sticky things you stick on the back of your phone and suction it to like a wall or a window or something. These have honestly changed the game for content creators and I think this is amazing. I got a couple of these actually. And last but not least, a handheld vacuum which just goes to show you can get literally anything on this website. And imagine me just being so cute dust busting around the house with my Timu vacuum. All of that for just $250. Insane, no? But seriously, they also have an app to make navigation so much easier so you can just sift through. It's very user-friendly. I've been on there. It's incredible. If you download the app through the link in my description, you actually get $100 in coupons, so you can just shop till you drop. Go crazy. You saw the damage I did with 250. Go do some damage with your 100. Click the link in my description. Timu, we love you. Now back to the video. So this is really unfortunate right now. I have to shave my face with conditioner because I left my new shaving cream. But also, why don't you just have facial hair, not a slay? No, I want my skin to be like, ooh. 
Guys, I'm convinced that I'm gonna find my husband at someone else's wedding. It's so wedding. funny because everyone here is like hunters, like lifelong best friends. And it's funny because I want to be like, yeah, I'm gonna find my husband here tonight. But you know, Hunter is protecting <laughs> these men from me at all costs. Oh, we're trying to get like The Bachelor. But it's gonna be so funny because you know I'm gonna fuck someone tonight. And he's gonna be sick. Ooh, I should make it a goal of mine to like specifically be someone who really pisses him off. Like, like whoever's fraternity brother. Uh -huh, like someone he's like really, really, really fucking close with. Like the one he's talking to like the most about the night. I actually don't think I've fucked many of Hunter's friends, ever. But I don't think. I really don't, I don't know, but I don't think so. Hold on, I'm making a TikTok. Who the fuck do I think I am? Like, Alex Arnold? So what to do in our lives, you guys may be wondering. We're moving houses, that's part of, like, well, that's good. the stressors happening in our lives. Like, when oh. we're literally supposed to be out of our house today, we're in Temecula, how do Our move out date was June 17th. It's June 17th. <laughs> we're at a vineyard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Roy. Packed up our whole house. Well, I packed up my entire room yesterday, and Ashley and Isabel Bella, we're moving in with them, um, so expect to see a lot more of them. Which you is know. so exciting because we all live together in Sherman Oaks for like three years, so I think it's it's good to get back to the roots. Like it's gonna be fun, like core four living together again. Yeah, and our we, house is insane. You guys are gonna see. I'm be like, what the fuck? We're all just in Vegas together, us four, like chilling in the living room like all day. I and mean, I was like, this is so cute. Like it's just like there's no love. Like your fucking lifelong best friends, you yeah. know. And getting to live together again is awesome. And the house is the nicest house I think I've ever lived in, and I'm so so excited to show everyone. And then we get home in a day. We have like two days to finish moving. And then we're off to Turks and Caicos. Uh -huh. Turks and Slaycos. Tart, Tart, seriously, I love you. Tart, 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 take me on another trip. When I went with Tart, I fell in love with Turks. Like Paige and I were like just fucking gagged. It's the most beautiful place in the world. Just so for twisting fun. everywhere. Yeah, being fucking absolutely feral. I was there and I was like, fuck, I really want to take all my best friends back here. Like I want them to experience this. So we booked a major massive birthday trip and we're going to leave. All of us have happening so fast like who the fuck do we think we are and Paige's birthday is also on this trip uh -huh. and then we come home it's Isabella's birthday it's the 4th of July canceled podcast is going on tour so I'm literally never even gonna fucking be in my house but you know. I feel like after the, the moving Turks is gonna feel like such a reward it's gonna be like wow you made it through all that I actually I don't find moving that hard or like packing I just feel like because <laughs> you're not doing anything she's just laying in a bed like that's cute keep it yeah. I want that there so true first of all I hire everyone I know <laughs> and it's so funny because everyone in the friend group like it's excited when I move because they're like, I have a job this week, like I have like added pay because I hire, I'll hire the mailman, I'll hire the Uber driver, I'll hire anyone I know. But I still do shit. It's the unpacking that stresses me, like just not having, my, I never have my shit for like a month after I move every time. Because um, you have so much stuff. I've been trying to minimalize my life, classify my life. Peppa yes, Pig collection. Yeah, okay, <laughs> the, Peppa, the Peppa collection has to stay. But yesterday I got rid of like my mini trampoline, <laughs> my talking pickle, my sea monkeys. Moving also fun like for everyone when it comes to her shit because then it becomes like like a real life Dillard's. Absolutely. Everyone just goes shopping in my closet and I tell them to take everything out. Ty yesterday, I'm not even kidding you, probably left the house with five grand. I saw, months. I saw the bag that he had and I was like, wait, I wanted to go through that first. You can just borrow it from Ty. You borrow a lot of things from Ty. <laughs> Whatever. So, yeah. Also, I don't know if you guys know that this is actually a real hack though. You can actually shave your face or like your legs or whatever. Oh, my clothes, always. I'm so bloated. I literally look Prego. I'm like, oh my god. But to bust out the seams of this gown. We got here at two. They greet you with sangria at this motherfucking vineyard. Hunter's already like drunk as hell. Like honestly, I could tell he was drunk when we saw him. I know, because like, he just has that little face on. Like, you can just tell he's like trying to like be like normal almost. So like yeah. just like calm. And then he's, like he's like, about to fall over. No, exactly. Like, like he, he had to go like get his tux or something like that from his room. And he just like didn't even really say anything. Like, he just like got up and started walking away. Here I go, bye. He's like, I'll be back. I'm like, okay, use your words. Well, it's fine too because he's like a main ass groomsman. When we got here, like, who was he getting drunk with? Oh my Where god! Was <laughs> and it's Where was noon. anyone? And it's noon. And there was no one with him. And it's noon. <laughs> you know what's funny is I was just on my For You page and saw a TikTok of him and Selena Gomez and I was like, oh, motherfucker. So Ty loves Selena Gomez and he, like, yesterday he goes, oh my god, Selena followed Hunter. And I was like, well, yeah, they're friends. He goes, yeah, but she used to not follow him. <laughs> like, why do you know that? No wonder he's out here just getting blacked out and disappearing and just fucking not saying about it's so fucking hot in here. Yeah, it is. I'm so terrible at getting ready when it's hot. I'm putting like sticky ass shit on my face and it like grosses me out. Heavy. I feel like I'm in Italy. And there's no pool. <laughs> Cause it's just like, what it's, is it? like I feel like it's more common in like 
Italy? Farther. Yeah, it's more common in Italy. <laughs> to like be at a hotel like this and it's like hot as fuck outside and it's kind of hot in the room. Like the ACs aren't as like busting because people don't like care as much as Americans, you mm -hmm. know? But I'm like, we're in Temecula. Get it together. Why isn't the room 50? Right, and you know I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and if I'm hot, I'm gonna wake up. Like, don't talk to me for the first hour. <laughs> See you You know how I get when I wake up hot. Temecula is really pretty though, honestly. We'll say that. Trevi grew up here. We're gonna see her tomorrow. Well, yeah, why is she here? Father's Day. Oh, duh. We celebrated Father's Day early. All our dad asked for for Father's Day from us was to take shots of Jack with him. <laughs> I don't so drink dark liquor and I've sworn off dark, dark liquor for so long because I will literally hit a bitch. Like it's bad. Like curb stomp Tana comes out. Like when I drink it, but I was like, fine, it's Father's Day. You know me drunk off the Jack. And then she started going crazy in the airport. I flirted with every single person in the airport. <laughs> every single person. I actually met this really rich, hot, sexy, sexy man upon doing it. So that was good. But then I started flirting with the flight attendant. The flight attendant, as the plane was like going down, sat down down next to me. Like instead of in his little seat up at the front was sitting next to me like, just keep your drink, you don't have to throw it away. Like, so what do you do? I'm like, shouldn't you be like up there like pressing buttons and beeping and bopping and shit? You know what I just thought about? Okay, so there's gonna be like 150 people around there at this wedding and obviously a lot of them are Hunter and Ashley's friends. Like they're, they're a lot of mutual friends. So like frat boys galore. Imagine I hooked up with one of Hunter's like frat boy friends, like please. a DL. Like, please, <laughs> please. Oh, I download Grindr, I'm like, why is it two feet away? <laughs> <laughs> now I have to shit in one. I'm gonna shit in this fucking little toilet right next to you. I can step away. Then what? We're just gonna get ready in my shit air. <laughs> Flying Spirit, shit air. Do you know Spirit's getting bought out, I think, by JetBlue? Is JetBlue just gonna have more planes, or like, are, is Spirit gonna be lit? All y'all have is like, I still fly Spirit. I almost flew Spirit the other day. There's nothing fucking wrong with it. I think it's awful. It's fine for like a short ass flight, like Vegas to LA, whatever. Where was I trying to go on Spirit? Cabo. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It was down to lose your spirit. It's so hot, I'm gonna start crying. It is really hot. Hunter's girlfriend, my favorite thing about her is she's just very, she likes what she likes, you know? She's a very classy girl. She works hard for her money. She has a lot of money. She's very bougie, you know? And and I know if her room is this hot, I'm about to get a text from her like, do you want to go to the rent? <laughs> and you're going to say, yeah. Absolutely. I love that bitch. She's like an hour and a half out. She calls me. She goes, how's the room? And I go, it's cute. And she goes, cute. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know she was like that. I love it. Like, she's a bad bitch. Okay, I have to shit right now. I'm gonna shit myself. Get out, get out, get out. Now, 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 I'm gonna shit myself. Mayday, mayday. Uh, I'm worried isn't I'm filming this, but I just blew up that bathroom. I'm talking like I'm sweating. It's not okay. It's both of us using like designer perfume and cologne right now as air freshener. Valentina! <sighs> I really will put a Jersey Mike's club sub, two white claws, a sangria, <laughs> that triple shot drink in my body. And then I'm like, why am I shitting water? <laughs> That's why. It's like hot chips in the sandwich. Like, <laughs> fuck. Holy shit. Literally. Something died in your asshole. I'm like still winded from gripping the walls. And do you ever like not bring your phone because you think it's going to be a quick shit and then you're there for a second and you're just like looking at the wall like, <laughs> I always take my phone. Face is shaved, y'all. I think I'm gonna double cleanse my face because of the fact that I just shaved with fucking conditioner. I'm bronzing with my hula bronzer. Get some bronzer. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got so dark in Vegas just from like baking in the sun. Oh, I'm about to be, I'm about to be to purple when I get back from Turks, y'all. The face wash that I like to use, this is Aloe Ativa. Aloe Ativa. I actually did a deal for this company a long time ago and I got in so much trouble because I said Aloe Atvia, so fun fact. Said Atvia Phonics. I just didn't read what the product even was. <laughs> They make a good hyaluronic acid and their moisturizer is so bomb. I, You're like making up now. <laughs> I've been using this as of lately because I was just in Vegas. Every time I go to Vegas, I take this with me because it's so much hyaluronic acid and shit. My skin gets so fucking dry in Vegas that it's like flaking off my face as well as like my hair gets so much dandruff because my scalp gets so dry and then like my lips are cracking too. So I made sure that I used this the entire Vegas trip and I came back from Vegas perfectly fine. So thank God for that. I'm still winded. <laughs> I was just randomly thinking about the fact that one time one of you motherfuckers commented on one of my TikToks and go, have you ever thought about getting your ears done, bestie? Why? Like, who says that? My ears look fine and normal. <laughs> I grew up my whole life. I don't like showing my ears. You guys know this about me, maybe. I don't I don't know why I assumed you guys know this about me. This isn't my channel. I grew up thinking I had big ears. Now everyone tells me I have small ears. You do have small ears. I don't know what it is. I don't like showing them. My dad has tiny ears. I always call them little, I've gotten them little broccolis for years. I definitely get it from him, genetics. Yes, exactly. You guys. 
Celsius. I did not. I've never used this powder and I swear to fucking God if I look like Flashback Mary. The thought of putting on a suit. It's actually starting to cool down a little bit now, I will say. Are we in a different room? Is the temperature in the room with us right now? But the thought of wearing a suit sounds fucking crazy, but I think it'll be fine. I wonder what time it starts getting dark here in That's so neck. true that like women can wear like warmer dresses or cooler dresses, but like a suit is a suit. Yep, I'm gonna look good. Cause I'm gonna fuck Hunter's frat friends. We're coming in hot. <sighs> okay, ladies, now let's get in formation. The one size blush palette is the coolest, cutest thing that's ever happened to me, if anyone wants to know. Oh my god, stop. It's Splash Mountain over here. How do you wash your face? You just don't. No, yeah, bitch. The one thing I do wash is my face, okay? Gently, gently. But to be honest, you know, I was having this thought in the shower the other day. I like my skin way more when I don't wash my face. Like when I just use a makeup wipe and moisturizer. That's fucking crazy. I don't know. I can't do all that. I just feel gross. You're like, never felt that before. I literally was just like, not me. I feel gross, but it takes like, I think a lot more than the average person. I think it's crazy. Like, I know. <laughs> She's like out here setting fucking world records for like the longest time without oh, a shower. Oh, <laughs> honey. See, this narrative, that's the narrative that we've got to stop. I'm in my Grange era. Grange where? Is the Grange in the room with us right now? I want to speak to the person who built this hotel. I want to ask them when they put the AC unit in why they were skimping on budget. <coughs> Like once a day I hit a cough that hard that I like gag and <laughs> stop vaping. Someone clip that and just be like, Taylor Motion or Weiser being disgusting for 10 seconds. Uh, that's why I didn't even think about like that. You're like, me burping. I'm gagging and burping. <laughs> I just blew up this bathroom. And I'm like, why can't I find a husband? <laughs> that's why, bitch. So after I washed my face, I was using toner for quite some time. My favorite toner I just haven't got taken time to get more of. I've talked about it before. It's the, the Good Light. Good Light Milky Glow Toner. That's what it is. It's actually fucking amazing, but I don't have have any right now. I think I'm gonna skip the toner or I'm gonna spray. Let's do this because it's hot, which means like probably a little dry. What's that? Mario Badescu coconut. That it's so one. funny because the shit is like so bad for your skin. No, the rose eating. one. Aloe's good for your skin, so it's like, ugh. And I just feel like with like how hot it is, this is gonna make my skin glow later. But then I don't do too much because I have another favorite product that just like really brings it all together. Oh, motherfucker, where is it? Oh. <sighs> These are insane. Hyaluronic Dew Drops by Mario Badescu. I want to know why when I use hyaluronic acid on my face and then I go in with the niacinamide drops right after. Why does it get like milky in your hands and like on your face? Like obviously it's from the mixing, but I thought it was like a normal and like encouraged thing to use both. Am I not supposed to use both? Am I doing something wrong? Can like skincare buy Hiram comment on this video or something? Because <laughs> I need to fucking know. His shit's actually pretty good too, but he got booted from Sofofo. Not my problem. <laughs> I got booted from Sofofo. It's crazy. Booted from Sofofo. What? It's okay. I um, keep using the wrong shade brow pencil and I have these like... <laughs> Gonna go look for my moisturizer. I'll be right back. I left my moisturizer. Ooh. Do you have one? Five Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This one's oil free. I like this one better. This one reminds me more of like hot gel, like pore clog year. This one is very much so not pore clog. Is this one lighter? I don't know if it's lighter. Uh huh. It's oil free though. It feels richer on the skin than the magic cream. It's not something that a little goes a long way. Wow, this shit's bomb on your face. Also, I love like layering different types of moisture on your skin because then your skin just feels like so like plump and bouncy. Like this ass. Best setting for ever, but it doesn't come out unless you shake it like a fucking weirdo like that. I made a switch from deodorant that has aluminum in it to natural deodorant, and at first I fucking hated doing that. I started off using Jeff's, and I will say I was clowning Jeff for a second there saying it sucked ass. But then I realized my body was just like detoxing like whatever was left in my body from like the aluminum taking it in. Do a party girl look. <laughs> it's like hot pink. <laughs> After like two weeks, I say I would wake up in the morning and like not even need deodorant. Like obviously it's still put it on because I just want to smell good. When I used aluminum deodorant, I would wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I need to put on deodorant. Like I can smell like some sort of like body odor coming from my armpits. Not extreme. Oh, some sort of. Like <laughs> When I made the switch, after like two weeks of like not having to do all this shit, I would wake up in the morning and be like, I don't even need deodorant right now. This is crazy. But I still obviously apply deodorant because we want to smell good. And Jess honestly is fucking amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I really love the ass. way it smells. No, the way his smells is so fucking good, but I want him to send me more. I'm like, 
Jeff, I'm not spending money on you. I already give you my best friend. I love being a boy. I'm about to do my hair and then I'm done getting ready. Die. So how I do my hair, y'all. So because I have ethnic curly hair, I like to get my hair wet before. And then I use this J Beverly Hills Everyday Spray Detangling Leave-On Conditioner. This stuff is so fucking good. They actually sent it to me. I never heard of them before. And like, I would purchase this, but they sent me so much that so I haven't had to yet. I was always one to like never really use hair products growing up because my dad is literally bald. So he never like taught me how to like maintain my hair. I kind of just had to like find out myself. I had really have like friends with hair like me so it was just kind of a struggle and I just didn't really care to try that much. Finally a day came. I don't even know. I feel like you guys can start getting your hair done all the time like getting like your blowouts, getting your bleaching done and just like learning a lot about hair care and stuff so then I finally just took the initiative to ask Miss Kim honestly. She put me on to like good products in the beginning and got me more into hair care because I realized that I really like when my hair looks like juicy and curly and like healthy as opposed to just like afro-y if you will but not like it just looks like dead and lifeless. Get that in there and then I use the uh, J Beverly Hills Crazy Curl Defining Styling Serum. If you guys are someone like me who just didn't really know much about hair care products and you have my kind of hair, I definitely would recommend trying out their products. Oh, and I just... <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all want to send me more? I just do not feel so good. <gasps> the amount I'm wasting right now is killing me. She's out here breaking her palettes. I'm out here fucking losing 25,000 percent of this product. I changed my mind. It is hot and the heat's making me a little miserable. Sorry, guys. I'm like, where are we going to go for cool air? I'm about to go sit in the reception bitch's office. <laughs> And I just got my hair cut yesterday. My barber, his name's Jose. I shouted out in my last vlog. I like to shout out every single person that does like any form of service for me. I pay for my services, but I just like giving credit where it's due, you know? But don't book these people when I need them. Oh, the curls are gonna slay. And then you just let it dry. Just let it dry and your hair's gonna look refreshed, curled, juicy, like you wanna pull on it. Okay, I don't have anything else to do to get ready. I will show you guys this product. This is the last thing I'll put on before we walk out the door. It's a Smashbox mattifying primer. This like controls the fuck out of the oil in your skin, actually. Like I'll be running around matte until tomorrow. So this is amazing. I'm gonna finish getting ready or like get dressed. I need to watch a YouTube video on how to tie a goddamn tie because I'm 24 years old and don't know how to tie a fucking tie. I need uh, to learn so I can be like wifier. The rest of this video will probably just be like, well, one, I'll show you guys how good I look. We we look. We look. I'll show you how good we look. And then I'll probably just like vlog a little bit here and there throughout the night because we're gonna be a hunter. And I just know he's gonna be saying some funny shit. So camera's coming out. Love you guys. Wait, love you guys. I wanted you to see my eyeliner, but just know it'll be cute. We'll show you the eyeliner in a little bit, but for now I gotta get out of this blown up bathroom. <laughs> We're ready. You want to show them the, the liner look? <laughs> Nothing about me is all terrain, and all this wind and this dust and this golf carting is just. I'm going like a monster rider. black suit. It's giving men in black. It's giving Barack Obama. It's absolutely giving Barack Obama. I've always said that about you. Mm -hmm. Feeling good, but we are itching for a cocktail. Earlier today in the car, itching. we were having a talk about how it's a marathon, not a sprint. It might have to be a sprint. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna gauge how drunk I can get by how drunk Hunter is. Very valid. You know what I mean? Oh, I just but know he's like But when we sloshed. called him an hour and a half ago, he had a flask of whiskey. <laughs> so, that is know. so funny too. Like, it's your best friend's wedding. Like, you're supposed to be a little put together. But also, like, I will say, like, I feel completely sober. He's also very put together blackout. Like, true. Until he's not. <laughs> but I feel completely sober. So, Me too. that's why it's like, okay, I need like something. Or six something. 